Hey guys, you may have seen the Tesla Roadster launch already. If you have not, I'll link it in the description section below. It's supposed to be the fastest production car in the world and is to be released in 2020. All I can say is wow, the future of the car industry will eventually be electric motors. I say eventually because technology is not there yet to create a battery that is small, lightweight, capable of long distances, and quick to charge yet. Let me give you a quick rundown of the specs and discuss about it. It's a roadster but has a T-bar roof which helps with structural rigidity. The nice part is it's a 2 plus 2 which means you can fit 4 people including the driver and apparently some luggage. Even though the car was parked in the background, it does look large to me. It will be capable of doing a 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. That's pretty insane knowing that you can do a 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I own a GTR. At one point, the GTR with its 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds was Nirvana. Now, this thing will do it in under 2 seconds. The quarter mile is stated to be completed in 8.9 seconds, which is ridiculous for a stock car. That is something you would see from a purpose-built drag car. You'd need at least 1000 horsepower or more from a GTR and drag tires to do that. The top speed is also stated to be above 250 miles per hour. Exceeding 200 miles per hour was already good. 250 plus with electric motors would be something I'd like to see. It'll have 10,000 newton meters of torque. For those of us in the US, that converts to 7,376 pounds feet of torque. That is something I've never realized would have been used for a production car. I don't even believe any V8 or larger engines used for a car right now would be capable of this. It will use an all-wheel drive system, two motors in the back and one in the front. This should help distribute power and provide traction. There was no discussion on track times, so I'd say it's not really a track car, but we'll have to find out what it's capable of. Maybe it's being saved for a Tesla electric sports car in the future for track purposes. It will have a 200 kilowatt battery and get 620 miles range, which is great compared to what we get with the Model S right now at a maximum of 315 miles. Of course, this is dependent on how you drive. My concern would be how long it would take to charge because I wouldn't want to wait 3 hours or even 1 hour to charge a battery while driving to my destination. It needs to be as efficient as when I go to the gas station right now, which takes a total of about 5 to 10 minutes. As far as weight goes, it was not specified. The Model S weighs around 4,400 to 5,000 pounds, so I'd guess it should be lighter than that. Of course, there is a price. It's supposed to start at $200,000 with a $50,000 reservation. It's expensive, but considering the performance at the price, it'll be better than most exotics or even hypercars that are currently being sold right now in a straight line. I think it's a bargain if you could afford it. The one other performance electric car I can think of right now is the Raymac. Being that Tesla is a larger company, they should have the funding to make a mass produced electric performance car. Having an electric motor allows for a quieter drive. Some car buffs may complain that it doesn't make internal combustion noises like from a Ferrari or whatever car they love, but taking that emotional aspect out and looking at the performance. I take it. Noise will eventually be something of the past if emissions and noise regulations get stricter. I don't believe hybrids are the way to go with performance cars because there are a lot of complications, like calibrating the internal combustion engine and electric motors to work together in unison. Especially if you modify the engine, then that would screw up the combination unless you're able to retune it with the electric motor. The other option is to disable one or the other. Electric motor and battery technology has not reached its maximum potential yet, but this is the next step in automotive technology, unless I can get my wormhole technology idea working first. Let me know in the comment section below of what you think about the Tesla Roadster and its performance. I'll see you in the next one.